Okay. Hello, everybody. This is Julie B from Nordonia Hills Dan News, and I have somebody that I'd like to introduce you to. His name is Robert Wright, and he's from Spectrum Business. Tell everybody about yourself, Robert. Thank you very much, Julie. Hi, everyone. Uh, my name's Robert. I've been in telecom now for about the last 15 years, strictly on the business side. And I think I offer a lot of value and experience that I can bring to businesses and help them function a little more efficiently, whether it's through traffic and calls, making sure they have the right internet to increase their productivity. And um, that's pretty much it as far as like a little 30 second commercial. Yeah, you're Other than that, speech. <laughs> exactly. But, you know, basically that and, you know, I, I, I say a big part of my success is, you know, from networking and just kind of knowing different people in the communities and tying things together. Speaking of networking, I heard on the street that you were networking even during, you know, when everybody kind of shut down. Well, uh, thanks to Zoom, like how we're doing now, I mean, it's the best time to do it because people are home. People aren't running around. I mean, if you think about it, you actually have a lot more time to network. Um, you know, a lot of the people in my field that I network with are doing business to business like myself. And, you know, I'm all over Northeast Ohio. You know, if you think about, I can be in, I've been in Mentor, Avon and Warren all in the same day. <laughs> So if you think about how much time that is traveling, you know, and a lot of people with the same type of um, day, I mean, that leaves a lot of time, you know, maybe three or four hours of driving time. You can actually use that to network with people now while they're home. That's true, that's true. Well, you know, I was working throughout the whole thing too, you know, being that I do the news. Uh, but I think some people just kind of like kick back and use the time to maybe get more training and everything, but, um, I think somebody, not somebody, I think some people might have missed the boat in trying to use that time to still connect with people. And like you said, reach out and call people maybe that you hadn't talked to in a while. Um, you know, so I mean, it's, and, you know, obviously there's still some, not everything's open. So, I mean, there's still time to reach out to people. Um, you know, now we're not totally like out of the woods. So. No, I, I agree. I mean, at the end of the day, if you can't make the sales now, you know, and whatever it is that you're doing, make the connections that can, you know, have you, you know, hit the ground running when things do open back up. You right. know, at the end of the day, yeah, there's only so much that you can do. Like, you know, with the Spectrum, we're actually going to be able to go back out tomorrow. So this during this whole time, our salespeople have not been allowed out, you know, and at the end of the day, you still have, you know, monthly goals and yearly goals. And if that stuff's important to you, you got to figure out a way of how to do it. Um, did you say that you had a special going right now too? Oh or yeah. You, or you're, something that you're doing to try to help businesses because obviously their funds may be low right now. Yes, right now we actually have a special going um, for businesses that are looking to come to us. Um, from a competitor or if you're just a brand new business and you need new phone numbers um, we're actually doing free installation as well as your first month for free as well so this is honestly in 15 years i've never seen anything like that so i mean small businesses are a big part of of what we do you know here at spectrum i mean they are extremely important to us um, they actually even get preferential treatment when things happen. You know, if you know if you're at home and you're an appraiser, you may work from home. If you call in and you're having an issue, you know, you're calling in in the morning. We're probably going to have somebody there for you. You know, that afternoon. Whereas if you're residential, you're probably going to have somebody there for you before the weekend. <laughs> so it's just, you know, it's it's a lot different when it comes to you making money to you know take care of your family and. In yourself as opposed to you know like my son playing Fortnite <laughs> with his buddies so right. you know we acknowledge that you know small businesses are probably about you know about 95 percent of businesses out there so you know we do want to give them special attention and and make them feel that um that we're behind them and you know we want them you know behind us as well 
Yeah, so um, <clears throat> you were saying that, um, you know, there was something I, that I was going to ask you and it just went out of my head. Um, oh, and then um, what I'm going to do is I'm going to post a link in the description of this video to a Facebook group I, that I created actually in January. Um, and it was for businesses to help each other. And my plan was to have events like every month or every two months where I think maybe I might have told you about this kind of like a networking event where we could like, you know, um, nothing structured, but just like uh, on a regular basis meet and, um, you know, support each other and give referrals out. And, um, and then obviously right when I, and I said I was going to start promoting it after the expo. And obviously the expo got changed to September and the COVID thing happened. Um, so anyways, I'm now, I'm going to, you know, bring my group up and, um, you know, start putting it out there so people can join the group and just kind of like promote each other and have it be like a nice, you know, we can't have any bad language or being people being mean or bullying each other. Um, right. but it's a nice place for us to promote each other. And, um, you know, in the Nordonia area. So I will be posting that link in the, um, the description. Um, I think this is a good time to kind of like bring that back. And one thing I've noticed um, during this downtime, I hate calling it quarantine. I, there's some words I just don't yeah. like, <laughs> but you know, um, during the COVID-19 uh, situation that we had, um, some businesses rise to the top and show how they're helping other businesses and um, I think that's great. And I think people are going to remember the businesses that stood up and stood out at this time in people's needs. And, um, you know, it's what I've been trying to do is help spread the word about businesses that have been doing things like that, too. So, yeah, I mean, at the end of the day, when all this ends, unfortunately, there's going to be some losers and there's going to be some winners. Mm -hmm. And the winners are going to be the people that have made moves to to gain business. So like, you know, what we're doing, it, it's great because, I mean, most importantly, you're helping the small businesses out, you know, but secondly, you know, you have those people that have been with, you know, with Windstream or, you know, AT&T and, you know, they've been on the fence about bringing their services over. Like, hey, if you've been wanting to come over, let's make it easy for you to come over. And, you know, part of the networking thing, like you're saying, like, I've learned so much since, you know, coming to some of those events with, at the Nordonia Chamber. Um, I'm also, you know, like a part of a BNI and, you know, just between, you know, those two, I've learned so much and I've created my own network that's completely outside of them. Right. And, you know, you always want to just kind of create power groups, like kind of figure out, you know, who works best with me. And, um, right. You have yeah. a friend at ADT. That's a very good connection. What, what's her name? Fallon. Yes. Alan Pedro. And, yes. uh, you know, we work together very well. Um, you know, her services need internet. And of course, you know, when I'm finding a, a new business, a lot of times I'll ask them like, Hey, have you secured, have you secured your building yet? If not, you know, if you talk to her, she actually gets you, you know, cause I'm like a referral partner for them. So if I refer business to her, that affects my customer to where they actually get, typically like 40% off. So that's actually more than what they would get going, you know, online or, or calling in. And, you know, it gives, it kind of increases my value to my customer. They're like, okay, well, hey, Robert, connect me with the right person, save me a little money. And, and I'll do that sometimes, even if we're still negotiating, if they're going to use Spectrum or not. Right. You know, and, and I think that's one of the biggest things about networking, because you have some people that are networkers, and you have other people that are looking for leads and sales. Yeah, you, and, you, you know, call them like they're transactional oriented. Exactly, <laughs> exactly. And they're, and, and it's, it's hard not to be transactional because, you know, society somewhat makes us transactional. You know, everything is kind of like a tit for tat. And, you know, well, if you do this for me, what I'm, you know, if I do this for you, what are you going to do for me? What's in it for me? <laughs> is, that, is that you or me? That's me. That's like, I'm in my basement. I actually have a oh. keg. Oh, okay. <laughs> so, was like a, I, I thought it was I like a buzzer a or something. No, but I don't have a problem. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, but, um, um, I think, um, 
you know, power groups are great. And, you know, obviously you have great value of pe to people. You could say, hey, you know, by the way, you need a sign guy, you know, you, you, you have such a, you know, a, a thick black, it's not a black book. <laughs> <laughs> what would you call it with business referrals? It's like a different color book, maybe a green book or something. Yeah, it's, like a, it's like a referral book or yes, something. You know? Yes. And, I mean, you you kind of you need it, and and this is what I find: like it's easy. Networking is easier than what people think, you know. So if I want to network with you, I don't want to just tell you everything that I can do for you. I actually want to know how you can help my customers. So. You know, whenever you're networking, someone's like, oh, I can do this, I can do that, and I can do this, and I can do that, and they're not asking anything about yourself, they don't really want to network. Red flag. Exactly. They just want to tell, you know, 500 people about it, and hopefully two or three people send them a referral, and they probably have no intention on saying anything back, you know, in most cases. I mean, there's, but I've gotten calls from people that I was surprised, you know, I'm like, oh, I'm surprised they contacted me. But typically, you know, when you actually sit down and talk to someone, you know, like, you know, when I referred those people to you um, about the podcast, you know, and I'm like, hey, mm -hmm. you know, like Julie knows podcast. She has all the stats behind it. You know, I was like, she has like 100,000 followers or people that see her website. Like, I knew this, these different things from talking to you. So when I'm talking to you, I'm listening for key points. Mm -hmm. And you're, you're um, listening for stories that you can share to other people. Exactly. Mm -hmm. And if you want to get referrals, the best way to get a referral is to give one or maybe two. You know, it's, it's right. funny. They're almost, you know, like I think I told you before, it's kind of like if, you know, we work together and Christmas time comes around. And even if I just give you a small gift, so let's say if I give you a, a $20 Chipotle gift card, you're going to be like, man, Robert, that was really nice, you know? And you're going to be like, I didn't get him anything. And it's going to mess with you in your head. If you're, <laughs> if you're, if you're a solid person, you know, if you're a nice mm -hmm. person, it's going to, it's going to mess with you in your head. It's like, and I then, owe you. <laughs> exactly. So then, okay, Christmas is over. So then, you know, Mother's Day comes around. I know that you're a mother and I'm like, Hey, you know, here's another, you know, $20 gift card. You're going to be like, dang, nah, I, he's, I he's got to give Robert something. <laughs> you know, and you're going to be like, then you might go on Facebook, okay, his birthday's in June. I'm getting him something for his birthday, you know. Oh, is but, it? Well, I'm going on Facebook. <laughs> <laughs> it's the 18th. Oh, okay, June I, I do, 18th. Hmm, okay. I, I, do, I do take referrals for birthday presents. <laughs> All right, I'm sure you would. Do you like Chipotle? <laughs> yes, I do, very much. <laughs> yeah, you know. They're not sponsoring this interview, but maybe they should. <laughs> hey, we're, no, we're, we're giving them some, uh, <laughs> some little free advertising. <laughs> Absolutely. But, but honestly, that's really what I do. Like, I just try to listen. And, you know, I mean, some people have certain things. And I, and I may say, you know what? I don't know if I've came across anybody that could do that. That, that I could help somebody with, you know, with your services over the last six months. You know, maybe I haven't, but a lot of other people, you know, I'm like, I know definitely I can talk to my customers and they may have a need for this or they may have a need for that. Or, you know, while we're uncovering things like, um, like POS systems, mm -hmm. you know, I came across this guy named Elliot. He's, you know, he's really great and he does like, POS systems and, and the credit cards. Um, I actually just met him through a buddy. I actually had helped a business out. They were have they didn't have enough internet speed for the, the system to operate correctly. And you know, I say, well, you know, who's your you know, who's the guy that does this? You know, he's like, oh, his name's Elliot. And I was like, well, do you have his you know phone number or contact information? And you know, they were like, no, we actually don't, you know, at the moment. Um, and I said, well, here, here's my card. You know, when he comes back in, if you could, you know, help make the connection, that'd be awesome. And lo and behold, about two, three weeks later, you know, boom, I get a call. You know, hey, this is Elliot, you know. And then, you know, you know, we meet, um, you know, just had lunch and just kind of, you know, same thing. 
you know, he actually has like loyalty stuff where he can actually help you get more connected with your customers. So like, you know, like when you go into a coffee place, you swipe your credit card and boom, you get a alert on your phone. Right. Like I've never even been here before. How do they know right. that my information is there? But that's kind of what he does. So it's, it's bigger than just the POS. So if I do talk to a customer and they're like, well, you know, things are slow right now. And, you know, and I'm like, well, look, I have a guy that may help you turn some of your one-time customers into repeat customers, you know? And I, and I'm like, Hey, he's a magic man. I don't know exactly how it works, right? but if it's something that you're interested in, let me connect you guys. And then, you know, so it's just, I don't know. It's, identifying, you know, people that you know that your customers can, you know, directly benefit from the most and get in tight with them. And then it also just gives me a different type of knowledge when I go into a business. Oh, okay, I see you guys have Clover. You know, right. like I know what the specs are. I know what you need for it to operate, you know, um, at, its, at its best, you know, efficiency, you know, so, because of Fallon, I've learned so many different things when it comes to ADT and their security systems and, you know, what they need, you know, for upload and download speed per camera. So when I walk into a business, I can take full inventory of what they have. I can say, okay, well, you know what? I noticed you guys had nine security cameras. You have like six people here working today. Is this normal? Okay, you know, you have more. What types of software do you run? You know, I may do a little bit of research on that. Right. And I don't rush them. You know, I just kind of gather everything. And, and I think a lot of times they appreciate it as opposed to me coming in and just trying to close, 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 you know. Right. You know, I, I can do this for you if you get it in to me today. If we can, if we can, you know, it's like, I don't do that. Right. <laughs> you know, it's like, look, hey, if I can help you and, you know, enhance your business and we can do this at your pace. And then afterwards, yeah, I'm going to ask you, like, hey, do you know anybody else that I could help out as well? I'll ask you for your referrals, but I'm going to take care of you first. I'm going to make sure that, you know, you're comfortable with everything that you're doing. You know, I'll bring my network team in um, to help you make an informed decision. If someone has services that I'm not as well informed on, okay, maybe I need to bring my IT guy in and, you know, have a discussion with them because, you know, Northeast Ohio is, is very small. It only takes a couple of bad instances to put, you know, a bad stain on your name. And I, I just really want right. to have everyone, you know, do things at the at their pace and the way that they want to do it. And you know, one bad cus one bad experience, we'll talk about it. You know, one customer with a bad experience will talk about it more than 10 customers with good experiences. Right. You know, if you go to a restaurant, you know, and you get good service, you're not necessarily going to go out on social media or even your friends and say, hey, you know, but, you know, people tend to talk about negative stuff, like something terrible happens. You're going to rush out and tell your friends and put it on social media. And, you know, that's, exactly. just, that's just how things work. It's not right, but it's how, well, you're right. But anyways, yeah. <laughs> that's how things work. You know, and, and one thing that I can say is in what I do, I'm always having to evolve and change. And there's like now I can interview people with Zoom and I don't have to have my podcast studio and um, I don't have to have video camera on you and me and, and the lighting. And this is like so much easier to do. Um, but when it comes down to it, networking like you're doing is very old school and should always be. Um, the best way to get business, no matter what changes in the future. Oh, definitely. I mean, you can do all the stuff. You can you can buy the leads, and you know, I mean, a lead is just a lead. It's not a it's not a recommendation. You know, I I think that when I'm typically done with my customer and like taking care of them, if they do have a need for you know security, when I refer a Fallon, they're gonna. You know, I've I've told a customer, I said, look. I believe in her, the way that she takes care of her customers enough to tie her with my business with you. So I'm like, we're working on this right now, but you've told me you have two other locations. She's that good 
and she's going to take care of you in a way that I feel comfortable referring her to you, knowing that she's going to take care of you. And then we're going to come around later and take care of, you know, place B and place C. Right. Whereas in, you know, with her, I'm going to give her a different type of referral because we've worked together. And other people, you know, if they're new, you know, there's like that's like I said, there's certain people that I've worked with and I know how they handle their customers very well. And there's some people, let's say if I meet someone and they're providing a service, you know, I may say, hey, you know what, I do know a guy that does that, you know, take, you know, you may want to kind of see what he's about and, you know, I'm not going to just give him a, a glowing review if I haven't seen his work from mm -hmm. a, you know, but it's just more like, hey, it's going to be more of an introduction than a right. referral. You know? Yeah, um, on LinkedIn and Alignable and some of these other apps or whatever, people will ask me to refer them and I don't know them. I don't know their services. Like, you know, is there just a, a name on a list? So I can't refer somebody like that. No, because if you do it, it they're going to remember that you refer them to that person. If the experience goes bad, you know, and, you know, nothing's perfect. You know, I've worked at, you know, I worked at AT&T for 13 and a half years. I've worked at Spectrum now for almost two. And um, I mean, there's some things that are beyond our control mm -hmm. as, you know, as sales reps. And um, just to give you an example, I had gotten a referral, you know, for a dental place. And, you know, our tech didn't quite, you know, I don't want to make it sound negative, but <laughs> things didn't go quite as well as right. the way the customer had wanted. And, you know, when they were saying stuff to me, you know, the person that referred it to me, I immediately contacted her and said, Hey, look, just want to give you a heads up. This is what happened. This is what I'm doing to take care of it. And, you know, and, you know, they were like, look, you've taken care of, you know, 50, 60 of my customers. You're good. Don't worry about it. <laughs> I understand things happen. Right. You know, things happen with me too. So, you know, but, you know, a lot of people don't treat referrals the way that they need to be treated. You know, like I look at it to where if you refer someone to me, that customer is worth four times more than the customer that I go out and just get myself. Mm -hmm. Because A, that's another person that I can get referrals from. I want to make sure that everything goes well with them. But then B, you're the person that sent it to me. So if you're sending business my way, the last thing I want to do is is make you feel uncomfortable sending business my way again. Right. You know, so, you know, in today's day, you know, there's only so many people that are going to truly send you business. So when you have those people, you have to treat them a certain way, you right. know, treat them a certain way and, and, you know, extend that to, to their customers that they send to you. Yeah. I mean, because, you want to treat people the way you want to be treated. It's like the golden rule. So that's why I say it's like, you know, there's new ways maybe to connect with people, but hardcore, you know, connecting with people and staying in touch and referring businesses, no matter what happens in the future, you know, that will, uh, this is, this is always going to be the best way to, um, to network your business. So I, I think it's great. I think a lot of people just kind of forget about what you're doing and um, just send things out, you know, on like I let's so they blast out to like a hundred people on LinkedIn or whatever instead of individually contacting them, you know. Um, and you know those tools and everything are nice. They're saying for connected with people, but not when it's time to connect with them. You know what I mean? Exactly, because at the end of the day, there's nothing like a face to face interaction. I mean, right. Zoom is is good. Yeah. But when you actually sit down and you connect and you feel the person's energy and you can laugh and joke. Um, I mean, sometimes you can even get that through Zoom a little bit too, you know. Yeah, well, but, Zoom is better than just a phone call. Exactly. Exactly. But not at not and there's nothing to take place take the place of just sitting down and having coffee with somebody. Exactly. And there's just I don't know. There's just different things when you're you know when you're there and you're engaged and and like honestly, I think I find myself asking better questions when I'm face to face with someone, whether it's mm -hmm. a customer, whether 
you know, it's someone that I'm looking to partner with for referrals. When I'm there face to face, I just feel, I don't know, it's just different. Like even here, you know, sometimes the dog will be barking. I'm like, what the heck is Rocky barking at? You know? Right. Yeah, you do <laughs> so get like, distracted. Although, you know, if we meet at Panera, you and I probably could run into 10 people we know, and there's a little exactly. distraction there. <laughs> but that That's, just shows how valuable we are, right? <laughs> oh, definitely. It, it's funny. Um, one of my buddies was saying about networking. He's like, well, I don't really have the money to join the groups. And I'm like, you don't have to join the group. I say, you can go to Panera in a couple of days a week. And all those people there, they're, they're mostly, you know, B2B or B2C, you right. know. And that's that's what they are. I said, you're going to see those people there with their laptops. Just introduce yourself. You're like, hey, you know, my name's Robert. I'm, you know, I'm a small business consultant with Spectrum. Um, you know, I see you. I've seen you here before. You know, what, right. what do you do? I mean. I've met people like that. Um, like my good friend, Tim Davison. We met at Panera. I can't even tell you how many years ago it was. And we... We met, you know, it was just kind of like one of those meet cutes, you know, at Panera and exchange business cards. And um, then we stay connected on Facebook. And then, um, I don't know, we, you know, we, you know, said hi every occasionally or whatever. And then he's like, hey, I heard about this thing called an internet, you, that you could have an internet radio program all on your own. And I thought of you, I thought this would be kind of something you'd be interested in. And that's how I got into that whole thing that got me into podcasting. and. You know, so it's really kind of funny. You just meet one person and, you know, so many doors could open. It's amazing. And the funny thing is, it's like if you do it with the right principles and you do it consistently, your network will grow. And it's it's kind of like compound interest. It's like you're investing into your 401k. <laughs> right. You know, right. And it's, and, but it's, you know, you're investing into yourself. And, you know, if you're doing it right, um, I mean, I'm looking at how, my network's grown over the last year. You know, if you're if you're doing things right for a lot of these businesses, after about three or four years, I mean, whatever industry you're in, it, it should become pretty easy. You know, you put the hard work in up front, and um, if you're doing enough good business and taking care of people the right way, you know, when I first started this. <laughs> I'm just was laughing fine. at you because you keep talking about doing things right and doing things the right way. I think there's a name of a show in there for you. Like one of those catchphrases should be the name. Because oh, you the talked right about, way. yes, you know, doing it the right way or um, doing things the right way. You had talked um, about having a, a little show. Like I have a weekly show called Jabbering with Julie on Fridays. And you were thinking about doing something. I, I think you should have something about doing things the right way or something like that. Yeah. And that way it'll help it people remember your name. And it's also something that you talk about a lot. Well, you know, when I, when I first got into this, I was not doing it the right way, you know? And I think that was kind when, of- Didn't you start off? Oh, I lost you, Robert. Uh, when you started off, you were probably- I'm sorry. The way you were trained, right? Well, when I first got into it, I was transactional because like when I was at, you know, AT&T, I was in a call center. Wow. And, oh, yeah. You know, call center is everything all about numbers and metrics and, mm -hmm. you know, and even though I didn't quite conform to their thinking, but there is a certain thing. It's like, hey, you know, you have to get a certain amount of calls because I don't know, there's just there's a lot of different things and when I actually got to the face-to-face -face, I still had that mindset so like just to give an example there's a guy that was in one of my networking groups he does VoIP phones and he had the phone category and I had the internet category now my mindset at the time is gee this guy's gonna be taking half my business I can't sell phones in the group because he's the phone guy you know and I'm the internet guy but his phones did some pretty fantastic things. So I was actually um, at the Burntwood Tavern in Brexville, because, you know, my area is kind of all up 82. So it's like Northfield, mm -hmm. you know, Broadview Heights, Brexville, you know, um, Sagamore, all that Macedonia, that's all my territory. So, you know, I'm there and I'm talking to them. And one of the issues that they were having with their, with their phones you know, they were like, yeah, you know, it's, we're glad you came. 
you know, we're having this issue with the phones. When we put people on hold, it's hanging up on them. So me being, you know, in phones for, you know, the last decade and a half, mm -hmm. I'm like, well, it doesn't sound like it's your phone. It's, to me, it sounds like it's your phone system. You know, so it's like, now, even though I'm going to get less commission by just doing the internet and getting someone else to do the phones, I said, you know what, let me get a person in here that's going to really give you the best experience. And then, lo and behold, me and him, we send business back to each other probably two or three times a month now, you know, right. but, you know, me thinking transactionally is thinking about what he may be taking from me. And when you start thinking from a relationship standpoint, what can we do together? Because he needs the internet for his phone system to work. And I'm just like, Hey, look, when I'm hitting these doors, I'm spectrum first always. But if customers have unique needs mm -hmm. that fall in your wheelhouse, and that's what I really feel is best for them, then, hey, I'll, I'll give that customer a choice and say, hey, look, this is what I can do for you. This is going to be the price. But I know you're trying to do this and that. What I'm offering you may not do that. Mm -hmm. Or it may not work the way that you think it will. Right. But if you want to talk to this guy, he can make it work exactly the way that you want. And we can kind of collaborate together. And, you know, at the end of the day, if the customer is happy, you're, yeah. you're still winning. Yeah, at the end of the day, the customer has a better product, you know, and you have uh, um, someone else that you're working with that's, that's happy as well. So you're making two people happy. Exactly. When we talk about phones, we should mention that Carlton has a company called Nardonia Hills Phone Company. And he has phones. And um, he's uh, ramping that up again. So I'll reconnect you with Carlton. Yeah, he's an excellent guy. I actually talked to him. Talked to him. Um, we actually met at the Panera out there. We actually met at the Panera. Yeah, I think I think I referred him to you, or, or maybe I yeah. was like one of the many people that that said, "Oh, you got to talk to Carlton." Yeah, and um, then what happened was weird because they change our territories from time to time. So then I was moved over to Akron, and that's a little oh, bit outside. Oh, that's sad. Of we need you here. But, well, I'm back now. I'm back. That's good. I'm glad you're back. <laughs> That's good. That's good for everybody. <laughs> exactly. So, but um, yeah, but if you're out there, I mean, Carlton, he's he's definitely a great guy to talk to. He's extremely knowledgeable, and I mean, he can make your phone system do backflips. I mean, whatever it is that you that you need him to do. Yeah, he, he also has a, a very um strong IT background. So exactly. That that is very helpful. That and what's nice about his is that there's not really like a promotion. So his price is really his price. So it's not like okay, well, this is your price for the first, you know, couple years. It's like hey, this is if you agree to this price, this is what you can bank on it being, you know, moving forward. So that's that's kind of nice too. So it just you know it, it just depends, and I I take all those things into consideration when I'm talking to a customer. You know, so you probably were kind of like remember when you started flipping from transactional to more relationship wise. Um, did your numbers get much better than your your coworkers? Oh yeah, it's um, <laughs> definitely, and it, it's funny because you know, like with Spectrum, um, if people refer us business we also, you know, give them a kickback for that referral. And kind of just coming into it, I wasn't quite sure on how that worked. And, and I just said, you know what, if I can connect with the right people and I can send them a steady flow of business and they can send me a steady flow of business, you know, you know, when I first got into this, I had to go find 100% of my business. Then probably, you know, six months in, I was probably finding about, you know, 90, 95% of my business, I'd get a you know, referral here and there, someone would call me. And now it's getting to the point where I say about 30% of my business is finding me, you know. That's, that's nice. So, that's, what, that's what you want. Exactly. You so want. It's nice. You know, hey, you know, you work with so-and-so and, you know, they told me this or that. And, and you know, you just got to find a way to, I mean, of course you want to, it's the relationships, but you also have to wait to, to sell yourself to the people that can sing your business. So 
like just to give an example, I have a buddy that's a commercial realtor. And I don't bump, I just don't bump into people on the regular that want to buy, you know, quarter million dollar properties. Like I, I just don't, Right. you know, um, I referred him, he's probably referred me about 25, 30 different people, you know, and I've probably referred him to people. Now, one of them, he said he made like, you know, 10 grand off of it. So he was extremely happy about that. <laughs> Oh, but you know, but I felt bad because I'm just like, man, I feel bad because you know I'm not a freeloader, you know, I'm, I'm not a leech. Like I, I pride myself on trying to, you know, you know, re- reciprocate to whoever's you know sending business my way, and um, you know, and I guess my biggest thing to kind of get him to, you know, my value is say, hey, look, it takes me six hours of me hitting doors. For me to find someone that I can sell to. Mm-hmm. If you're going to refer someone to me and take away that six hours of walking, which by the way, I could probably use, <laughs> but, but if you're going to take away that six hours of walking, whether it's in, you know, 95 degrees July or negative 10 degrees February, I'm going to dedicate that time to making sure that they have the best experience. So you know, that's six hours that I would have normally had to walk, you know, what's it to me to, to dedicate, you know, an extra hour, you know, to that customer than what I normally would just to make sure that their experience is really the best that it could be. And that's what he appreciates. He's like, right. you know, he says, look, I don't you really can, you know, you can't force it. It's just, you know, you know, some people are, are just, you know, have similar businesses and it's just real easy. And, yeah. um, you know, I'm sure he appreciates it anyway. Yeah, like for, for him, the, the 100 bucks that he gets from Spectrum for referring business, 200 bucks, he doesn't really care about that. He's like, you know, you, you know, I can send my A-level customers to you, and I know that you're going to take care of them. And that's, you know, it helps him maintain his relationships and, you know, his networking. So. Oh, it's funny. You said 82 is your territory, and that's what's behind me. I see. I see. <laughs> yeah, I took that picture um, during the basically when everything was locked down. That was like four thirty on a Friday. Can you imagine mm-hmm. that? I, I was at a red light. And I'm like, there are no cars. People said it was fake news, but no, it was really true. It was like I was sitting there at the light, and it was like, there's no cars. I can't believe this. I, I got to document this for history. What have you ever <laughs> seen it like that in a blue sky part of the day? I mean, you know that that man. That's it's, yeah, you never <laughs> see that. No, no, and, see, what, and that's what, what I was trying doing? to do. You were supposed to be social distancing. Why were you out? Well, I mean, you're still allowed I'm to joking. be out driving around. I'm, I'm <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I know, but that's what people were saying. Uh, you know, I was posting pictures, and they're like, you know, and it's like people were saying, well, you should, you shouldn't be doing that. It's like there was nobody where it was just me. It's like, what, what is wrong with you people? Why are you guys always complaining? It's like, it was just me taking a picture. You know, I felt like during that time, it was my job to go out and document what was going on um, because yeah. most people couldn't get out. And I was reporting on what was happening. But oh my gosh, the people on, you know, on the internet sometimes are. Well, I, well the funny thing is, it's like even me, I found myself sometimes just going out for a ride. It's like, hey, yeah. I'm not hurting anybody. I just want to get out the house for, you know, 15, 20 minutes. I might just drive around or, you know. And you were allowed to do that. I I ran into a police officer and he said people thought that they couldn't leave their homes. And they're like, I have this piece of paper saying I'm allowed to be out. And he's like, it's okay. You don't have to show me that. They just gave you that piece of paper in case things changed, you know, and got, you know, more locked down. But yeah, it was. I don't know. I people really got wound up during that time, and um, you know it was definitely unprecedented, and people didn't know how to handle things for sure. Yeah. And now the big question is, you know, especially I'm sure you deal with a lot of restaurants, and now they're having to deal with having some customers, and you know how to handle that. That's pretty extreme. So um, Mm -hmm. one of my customers has a bar. They can't have anybody at the bar area. So no one can be at the bar area and mm-hmm. they have this like this like six foot stick. So it's it's already six feet long 
and from one table to the next, you know, they have to make sure. Right. And, you know, like even just with the the casual walking around, like it, there's there's so many different things that he told Isn't me. Isn't it like and, commingle? You're not supposed to commingle. Exactly. So it's like if, <clears throat> say, if me and my family were at a table and I see you at another table, like for me to come over there and be like, hey, hey, that's a no-no. No. <laughs> text me <laughs> exactly <laughs> at least i can see you from afar yeah. um but yeah so i mean it's really going to be interesting to see how businesses do how you know salons and some of these businesses how they tackle these new obstacles that that are in front of them um to try to stay in business well hopefully um Hopefully there isn't this big second wave that everyone's talking about. And, you know, it's from what I've understood, I don't know. I've heard so many different things. You know, you don't know what's true and what's not, you know. I've heard that so many people have already had it and didn't know. And, you know, and I'm like, well, if that's the case, that's that's great. You know, because maybe they had it and now they don't and they're immune to it. Yeah, but, they were saying that some people that had the flu early part of the year, it was COVID and they didn't know. And who knows, you know, it's really kind of hard to say. But, um, you know, what's really, I think the world is watching, or at least around here for, you know, now that they're starting to open up things around here, is what is our fall going to look like? You know, are we going to have sports back? Are we going to have the schools back? Uh, if things are going to be different, what is it going to look like? Um, and these are the big questions that there's so many things riding on all of that. You know, like our expo, the, the Northern Hills Chamber of Commerce Expo, the date is September 27th, you know, and we can only do that event if the schools are open and the school gives us permission to use, you know, the facilities, the high school. So um, there's just so many hinges on all of these decisions. Uh, it's just amazing. Which, which almost makes no sense because even if the school isn't open, why not just open it? You're not, if it's not open, you're not putting anyone in danger. You know, it's like, hey, we just need you to open the school and, but. I know, we'll just have to see what happens. The, the Nordonia um, High School is actually thinking about having a prom with no dancing. So they're allowed to have tables and only so many people at certain tables talking and, and that, but no dancing would be allowed. Hmm. So, um, yeah, they're putting out some some survey to students now to see how they want to handle prom. So, yeah. Oh, man. <laughs> and they recently so had a senior parade throughout town that was a huge success. They had like 250 plus cars from the seniors, high school seniors, and they went by all of the schools in this area. And um, it was the, one of the biggest community events that anybody can think of because there were so many thousands of people came out. We have a video coming out soon and you'll see thousands of people across the community coming out and cheering on these seniors. And I've never yeah. seen high school seniors so happy. <laughs> They're usually kind of like playing it cool, but they were like so happy that they were allowed to do this and yell and scream and celebrate, you know? Okay. So, I, you know, have you heard of anything other communities having that too? I think it's really been um, a big change for a lot of communities on how to handle the seniors. I haven't really kept up with it, to be honest. Um, honestly, over the last couple months, I've, I've just focused on, you know, calling my customers, you know, kind of right. seeing how they're doing. Um, you know, just... I know it's just scary. You know, a lot of people, they invest, I mean, their, their life savings into their business. So, you know, you get to an age and you have this vision of what you're going to do. And then, you know, this gets thrown at you. Um, it's got to be, it's got to be pretty scary. Yeah, we have some new businesses that are supposed to start here in the area. And, um, you know, hopefully people are waiting to see if the construction can start soon. Um, and you know that'll be good for you. <laughs> New businesses yeah. would be good for you too. And um, you know, obviously, hopefully, things can get going on some of these construction projects. Yeah. Um, hopefully, you guys get some more restaurants. You guys have some good food out there. Well, they there. are. Okay. So um, these are the ones I'm going to send you information about. At least what I have. 
We have McAllister's Deli, that's gonna be a building uh, in the parking lot by Hobby Lobby. And then okay. there's gonna be um, Aladdin's and uh, Five Guys in a new, it's gonna be a new structure as well, over between um, Cinemark and um, Home Depot over there. Okay. So those two will be like one structure with both of those in the and um, those, those two businesses I know will have, will have outdoor patios as well. And then in Norfield Center, we have um, a new Duncan going in and a Jiffy Lube uh, mm -hmm. next to Giant Eagle. So those are just a few, those are the like, you know, new buildings that are going in. Um, there's one construction project in town. They're in the process of building um, a new Dollar General in our full village. And they're just, they're moving from the plaza to a new building, so. You get all the, you get all the good scoop. <laughs> well, that, that's, that's my job. So um, the only problem is I don't always get contact information for those businesses. It's like, you know, I, I have the information that they present at planning. And um, so I can share with you what I have, but yeah, it's my job to know what's what's going on. It's not okay. easy. Well, I, well, with the five guys, um, I'm working with the person that has most, almost all the five guys in Northeast Ohio. So um, I might be able to help you connect with him. See? So That's yeah, great. he's putting one up in Mentor now. And then I think the next one, might be out there because he told me he had the mentor one that is the next one on the list and then i think canton and then there but they're all coming up like within the next couple of months yeah i hope they start construction this summer um because then that, that would be ho hope for the people that are looking for those businesses yeah. well i the, think i think our time is almost up um so what i want you to do is come up with your new show and then i can promote it I definitely will. I definitely will. I think you need to teach people how to how to network the old fashioned way. The right way. The right way. The <laughs> right way to network. <laughs> yeah, and see you know, using Zoom, you can record it whenever you want and put it up on YouTube and people can watch it when they want and you know, it's um I think it's good and obviously you can you can talk about some of your latest connections that you got too. You know, wouldn't be bad. I mean, if I can get a following, and I definitely love to turn some business back to you know my customers' way. If they're if they're doing business with me, the best way to thank them is send people to them. Absolutely, absolutely. Um. So yeah, I, I we better probably should end here before um Zoom kicks us off. Um, but you know, I you have a a lot of knowledge, and I think you need to share it with other businesses and help them, um, you know, help help them do things the right way. I definitely will. I, I look forward to working with you again here some more and um, we'll have to meet back up at Panera pretty soon or Chick-fil-A. Yes. Chick-fil-A, I like Chick-fil-A out there. Hey, they're, you know, they're both so close. Can't, can't go wrong I, with either one really. No, you can't go wrong with either one, that's for sure. Um, yeah, I think, um, trying to think which one has the better Wi-Fi. <laughs> <laughs> Either of them have a spectrum business? <laughs> I'm not know. sure. Because those know. are corporate. I can't do those. I know, those I know. So. But yeah, so it was nice uh, seeing you and talking with you. No problem. Have a good one. Have a great week, Robert. It's a short one. Make it work. Definitely. Bye. Bye-bye.